we currently have a partner who's training them on reusable sanitary towels. Mm -hmm. And that does not mean they all have to be tailors. They can learn that <coughs> skill and value add to like beadwork. Beadwork, like uh, the shanga you're wearing right mm, now. This one here, director. <laughs> director, he hapa. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You'll find that that the beadwork can be incorporated into our modern attires. Yes. And the value of that cloth or outfit even goes higher. And that is a source of income for mm. them. We also have our volunteers who come in with nutrition skills. Uh, also, uh, some of the children have disabilities mm -hmm. and they're hidden so often. Uh, we have volunteers who come in to do our uh, occupational therapies, uh, f uh, facial, uh, what are they called? Like all the muscles therapies mm -hmm. for them. And this is also an awareness to them not to hide their children who, are, who have any Forms form of, of disabilities. disabilities. Yeah. And this is now where we talk about the, the dreams center for teenage mothers because with this center that we are currently fundraising for mm. we'll be able to have so much of these skills trained at one central place and have people who like um uh they can even uh give them startup money capital mm. for mm. their businesses or even elevate their accelerate their businesses even you know to a better level yes and on the life skills we have uh, the youth expo mm -hmm. we had the very first one this year with the name the dreams youth expo yes on the international youth day mm. which ran for two days that was a platform for young people to come and showcase what they do and interact with market experts and have people know more about their products so the life skills um initiative for dream dreams has taken a whole independent model of its own because yeah. of the dreams youth expo and now the dream center for teenage mothers